I am so excited because I got one of the coveted Glam Light foodie boxes. This is something that they released the first time before I had ever bought from them, so I didn't know about it. But they've recently, well, re recently, they, yes, that's why I have this box recently, they brought it back. <laughs> So they decided they were gonna do it again. And this time they made it themed. This particular box is the Mexico box. And these guys sell out so quickly. I'm on their mailing list and their e uh, the email and their texting list. And so I actually got a text about it. I was asleep from, cause I work in the middle of the night. So I was at home, I was asleep. It was like, you know, 11 o'clock in the morning. And uh, I got a text and I woke up and I was like, oh yeah, that's right, it's releasing today, let's get this. And I managed to pick one up and I think it sold out in about 30 minutes. So I was so, so excited. Personally, I love Glam Light. I love, they do food inspired palettes if you don't know what they do. And they do other palettes as well and, and their formula is great and amazing, but their packaging is some of the best out there. So when I saw this guy, I was like, I have to try and get one. So excited that I got it. And now I'm gonna show you guys what's inside of it. So let us, without further ado, jump in. While I'm opening this box and trying not to cut my fingers off because I'm not very good at working scissors, if you have uh, not subscribed to our channel yet, consider doing so. We do unboxings and hauls and tutorials and I, I talk about history sometimes. We just do all sorts of fun stuff here. So if you wanna, if you wanna join our little dark angel family, we would love for you to be a member. So yeah, like subscribe. <laughs> Shameless plug done. All right, let's look at what we got with the box. Now, there were certain items that like like everybody was gonna get. Oh man, I didn't even cut all the tape off. What is wrong with me? I told you I was bad at using scissors, my goodness. All right, any more tape? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Ah, we got it, we got it. Now we're cooking, all right. <laughs> cooking, cause it's food inspired. <laughs> Why are we still here? Just to suffer. All right. There were certain items that everybody was gonna get and then there were some variations that you could wind up getting as well. So they have it nicely packaged to make sure nothing comes broken, lots of bubble wrap. And the first two things that we have, these I believe were both released specifically for this box. So this is the Agua Fresca and the Champarado. I hope I said that right. I really hope I said that right. These are both lip glosses. The Agua Fresca is like a really nice kind of pinky glitter shade, gorgeous. And just for fun, I'm gonna swatch them because why not? So that's what that one looks like. Very nice faint pink shade. It has a beautiful reflectiveness that I can see as it's catching the light. And then the Champarado one. I really hope I'm saying that right. If I'm not, I'm so sorry. That one is like a brown toned one. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Like a deep neutral brown though, very beautiful. That's what that one looks like. And this is what he looks like in the container. So everybody got those if you got the box and I'm very, very uh, pleased with how that's swatched too. I think it's gonna be a really nice lip color. In fact, the um, this one I think would look really nice in the, over the, the color that I currently have on, which is like a nice matte brown shade. And then let's jump into the box. I will say I can already see, God, my one piece of hair just wants to fly in my mouth today. I don't know why. I will say I was hoping, so one of the variations you could get was one of their lashes. They have the Margarita Lash and the Micheleta Mask, Matt. Mask, what is wrong with me? Lash, the lashes, they're, they're lashes. And I was hoping for the Micheleta one because that's personally my favorite alcoholic beverage. I drink them all the time. I make them at home. If I go out to a Mexican restaurant, I always have to get at least two. So uh, I was hoping to get that one. I did not, but the margarita lashes are still gorgeous, long, beautiful. They have a gorgeous curve to them. They're super thick. I don't normally wear lashes, but I've gotten a little bit more comfortable with them. And so that being said, I, um, I'm excited to test these out. I think this will be a really fun box to do like a full look with. And then you also got one of their taco lashes and they just picked randomly which one she got. I can't open, I got carne asada, but I can't open it. Nikki got to open it. All right, so while he's doing that, so we can see what the carne asada lashes look like, I'm going to open up what was their other special release for this particular box. And this is the, the Concha highlighter. And that's what it looks like. I believe the Concha is like the big cookie. Like it's like a big cookie with like pretty icing and everything all over it. And oh gosh, look how pretty that is. I'm gonna swatch this one too, cause I really am excited to see like how it looks. And I actually don't have any highlighters from them. I'm not sure, this might be like one of the first highlighters they've released. Hopefully you guys can see it. It's like right there on my wrist. Very faint, very beautiful. You can see it really well on my finger where I've swatched it. 
but it is a really purpley pink shade, something that I would personally wear a lot just because it, normally my, my color tones that I go for are like the purples and the pinks. So I'm really excited to, like I said, do a full face with this. I think this is gonna be a really fun box to do that with. And then the last thing, if I got it, open this one. Did you get it? Thank you. We'll talk about the carne asada lashes first since he, uh, since we already brought that up. Let's see what it looks like. Once again, really pretty, very nice long lashes. You have to just say the packaging is just precious. No matter what, the packaging is just, in my opinion, is worth it. This, oh, I didn't mention, this box was $39 as well. And you got, um, I think it was six full size items. Yeah, two lashes, the highlighter, the palette, and then the two lip glosses. I think for 39 bucks, that's a great deal. Um, the highlighter they released was $14 on its own. And then this, Carne, not the Carne Asada, the Straight Taco Palette, which is um, like a little nice mini palette because they do have a large taco one that I've actually done a review of on the channel before. This little guy, he retails at $22. And so that right there, you get like a palette and a highlighter that's worth, I said 14 plus 22. So it's worth $36 right there. And then you add two lip glosses and two lashes. I think you definitely get a good amount of value for this, uh, for this little box. Inside, that's what our taco palette looks like. Gorgeous green shades, really pretty orange shade, that beautiful purple shade. I, th I think this is gonna be a really fun little box to do a review of, so yeah. I'm pretty excited about this one. Like I said, I was really excited when it, um, when it released. Funnily, <laughs> funnily, is that a word? Yeah, funnily, funnily? Funnishly, fun, fun, funkily, funkily. I think it's just funny. No, funnily enough. I think it's funny enough. Is it? I'm not, I just don't speak English very well. Funny enough, I actually have another box from Glam Light arriving on Thursday. I almost waited to just do one big haul with it, but I opted to do this one just because I know that this is a newer box and I know some people didn't get it. And so I was I was thinking maybe people wanted to see what it looked like when it was all unboxed. Um, but I do have the birthday cake palette coming, which I've been wanting to get for a while and I finally just was like, I'm gonna do it. And then I also have the, the new released um, donut palette because I actually am a baker at a donut shop. So I was like, I got it, I can't not get it. So I got it and I pre-ordered it. And I think it actually didn't release until yesterday, but it shipped out last week. So I should have it on Thursday and we'll do a little unboxing of that one. And then I'll of course do a review of both palettes for you so you guys can see how it winds up playing on the face. All right, really quick video. Didn't take a long time to unbox it. Um, hopefully you guys liked what you saw here. Enough to subscribe maybe. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy, you have a wonderful day, and you stay girly with the dark twist.